Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart. All right, time now 7:41. Getting a live look over Stern's Wharf. Thanks for waking up with us. Only two days away from Christmas Eve, or Christmas Eve is tomorrow, and the first day of Hanukkah. And this morning we have holiday meal inspiration all the way from Italy. The executive chef from the Biltmore, right here in Santa Barbara, joins us this morning. He'll show us how to make perfectly cooked pasta in a brown butter sauce. Let's send it out to Mabrisa, who's on the patio with our guest. Good morning. Good morning, Danny. I am joined by the executive chef of the Biltmore in Santa Barbara, Mr. Marco Fossati. Good morning. Thank Buongiorno. you for having me. Buongiorno. Thank you for having me. I know. I'm so Such excited because you're going to make us an Italian signature holiday dish. What's yeah. it called? It's a um, short rib ravioli del plin. And it's called what? The, um... the pasta fatta in casa. Oh, I it's love a, that. It's homemade uh, pasta. So it's a ravioli with a, a filling of uh, certified black angus rib that is uh, cooked for 17 hours and has a low temperature. And then we, the meat is grounded and then we fold inside egg, uh, parmesan cheese and oh, uh, margarine. Delicious. And then and we... This yeah. is going to be the signature dish at the Biltmore, right? Especially absolutely, for the holiday absolutely. season. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yes. It's Let's on the menu. Let's get right to it. Show us okay, how it works. So the, the sauce we are going to do is a brown butter sage. It's okay. the classic sauce that is perfect for this type of uh, uh, dish. So we put the, the butter in a hot pan. Beautiful. And then uh, we put the fresh sage. Here we go. And then uh, while uh, we are waiting, the, the, the butter is melting and the fat uh, is uh, caramelized. So the brown butter is a golden brown uh, sauce with a flavor of hazelnut that uh, is, a, is a complimentary with the I entire dish. I smell the sage already. Oh, it yeah, smells so fantastic. Sage is fantastic. Now, let me give you a, a grandma, the typical nonna italiana, Italian grandma uh, secret to cook the pasta. Okay, what's and the secret? ratio is uh, 10, 100, 1,000, so okay. 10 grams of salt, 100 grams of pasta, and uh, 1,000 grams or one liter of water. That is the secret for the Italian pasta, how to cook the Italian oh, pasta. Oh, I love that. So that's an Italian grandmother's secret recipe yes. right there. Nonna, right? Nonna, nonna doesn't make it wrong. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so now we have the ravioli. We're okay. going to put it in the, in the, in the, inside of the water like we, we described. Okay. There we go. And, we'll let it cook and this it. is fresh pasta Fresh that you're pasta. So with. the fresh pasta, you see, look at this. Very start. typical. Uh, start to cook, uh, the sage start to fry, they became crispy, so you have uh, like a, a sage cracker together oh, okay. with, a, with a pasta. Here it smells so great, you guys. It's you amazing. can't believe it. Oh my God. Yeah. You can't make a mistake with that. So the fresh pasta take around uh, two, two and a half minutes. Okay. And that's it. You see? See and the color? inside, what do you have inside the pasta again? The, we have a, a certified black angus uh, uh, short rib. That's that they right. are seasoned, simple seasoned, and cook it for uh, 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 17 hours. Okay. And then we 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 pass, uh, we ground the meat, and we mix with pa fresh parmigiano, uh, margarine because margarine for the filling is perfect, and some egg, and that's it. Simple. Nutmeg. Look at that. Look at the color. What a great combination. Yeah, you can see it already we changing color. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow, you guys. <laughs> that is. I've never smelled pasta like that before. It's amazing. It's fantastic. It's amazing. So, and uh, one thing I want to tell you while I finish to cook, uh, this dish, uh, we are uh, supporting the cancer research. Uh, and so this dish uh, that is on the menu, every raviolo sold, uh, uh, $2 goes uh, to the cancer center uh, uh, here in Santa Barbara. We are very proud to support this. And how long is this going to last? The for that promotion? Uh, a couple of months. Okay, perfect. And then, uh, and the raviolo, the raviolo, I don't think uh, we can take it out of the menu because some guests, uh, they told us. Uh, this is a staple dish now, huh? Yeah, Especially leave it. Hotel. Never take off the menu, they say. So, here we go. So, so, as the executive chef was telling us, for the remainder of the year, every order of the short ribs benefits cancer care and treatment for patients in Santa Barbara County by donating $2 per order to the Cancer Center of Santa Barbara. That is fantastic. So okay. you're going to be eating for a great cause, right? Exactly, absolutely. And we, uh, us and the Four Seasons, we like to support with this cause. And then you see, now we go to shave some 24 months age Parmigiano. 
of fresh Parmesan, of yeah. course. Yeah, so we use the 24 months because 24 months is the right aging for uh, the fresh flavor, pasta. Right? The right. flavor is fantastic. There is some crystal of salt inside. They have this uh, kind of uh, apricot uh, flavor inside. Oh, wonderful. And then uh, we finish with uh, some fresh black pepper on top. Uh, and, you know, Italian food olive oil on top of everything. Right. So a little bit That's like that. That's a must. And uh, voila, this is the dish. Uh, buon appetito. Bella, I love it. This is beautiful. Thank you so much my for joining pleasure, us. My pleasure, my pleasure. Feliz Navidad. And how bon, do you say? Buon Natale. Buon Natale. Uh, come to Thank visit you us. so much. Make sure to stop by and visit <laughs> Chef Marco at the Biltmore in Santa Barbara for the signature dish, which is going to a great cause to help out cancer patients here in Santa Barbara. Thank you so much for joining us. Danny Stacy. I'm sending it back to you in studio. Pasta? It's not too early for pasta. No, not at all. That looks delicious to me. I'm getting, it's getting me hungry. Yeah. <laughs>